Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about function overloading in C++. So if you are uh, facing problem in the visibility of this video, you can uh, improve the resolution by going into the YouTube setting so that you can easily view the content of this video. Now you can note down my uh, information. These information will be very much helpful for your study and placement purposes. And don't uh, forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Now coming on to the topic which is function overloading. So first I am going to uh, discuss about the uh, need of function overloading. What it is then I will explain a simple example of function overloading. So function overloading allows programs to declare multiple functions having same name but with different number of parameters. So the functions are distinguished by their number or type of parameters. So uh, in short, we can define more than one functions having same names, but compiler will distinguish them uh, according to their number of arguments or type of arguments. You have to remember that the return type of the function is not used to distinguish overloaded functions and would result in a compile time error message. So if of name of functions are same their type of arguments and quantities uh, are also same but return type is different then uh, those functions will be treated as compile time error because return type is not responsible for overloading functions so now this is the example number one uh, here uh, you are uh, seeing two definitions of a function which is swap so both the functions uh, are having a same name which is swap but see the uh, type of arguments here two arguments are of integer type and here two arguments of float types but the definition of both the uh, functions are same both are swapping values of two variables so uh, with the help of uh, this example you uh, will be able to understand that we can use same name for functions but their type or quantity of arguments will be different. So this is the main function for previous uh, definitions. Here two variables uh, p and q are of integer type and x and y are of float type. Then c out uh, it will display enter two integer values message on console. C in will read uh, values into p and q. Then swap function is called and two arguments p and q are passed. So function call passing integer values. So this function call will be uh, will be calling uh, the fun the definition which is receiving two arguments uh, of integer type automatically. Then again C out after swapping uh, the results will be displayed. Then C out enter two float values. This message will be printed on console. Then scene will read values in x and y. Then second time uh, uh, I have called swap function where values of x and y are passed. So this time uh, the definition which is receiving two float values will be called automatically. Then C out will print the swapped values. So uh, with the help of this example, you might be able to understand the concept of function overloading. Now you can see the output. First it is asking for two integers. So I have entered two and four. So after swapping it is printing four and two. Then same with for, for float 2.2 and 4.5 and after swapped uh, after swapping the values are 4.5 and 2.2. This is another example uh, which is also related to function overloading. So in this example two functions whose name are print but here they are uh, uh, receiving different number of arguments. So first print is receiving one argument of integer type and second print function is receiving two arguments in which first is character type and second is integer type. So first function is displaying a value of a directly and second function is uh, uh, using a loop to print the message and loop will repeat n number of times. So in main function uh, two times uh, I have called print function. So first print function is receive, uh, receiving 27. So it will automatically link to uh, the first definition, this print function. And second print function call is having two arguments, uh, Sanjay and two. 
so this function will link to the second definition because we are passing two arguments in it so friends with the help of this example you can easily understand that we can uh, use same names for function definitions but we have to uh, distinguish number of arguments or type of arguments so i have explained uh, two examples one uh, one was having uh, same number of arguments but different types and uh, second example uh, is having a different number of arguments and different type of arguments so you can implement these programs on your laptop or desktop and if you want to uh, uh, understand the practical implementation of these programs so you can watch my practical demonstration videos uh, now you can also uh, note down uh, these information for your placement and study purposes thank you for watching this video